as the ball did. This is slow motion, so he might look early, but he's right there. See, it looks like he got there a little early. I'm sure Baker's trying to convince some people that he got there a little early. The McMillan guessed right. See Bud Carson giving him a little congratulations on the sideline. A young guy needs that confidence. 44-yard attempt by Matt Barr, and it's long enough, and the kick is good enough. Matt Barr with his second field goal of the game, strained knee and all. And the Giants lead 20 to 6. Well, Buffalo is having a laugher. Whoa. A laugher. Whoa. We're talking some all time records. I mean, the Atlanta defense has already given up 56 points to the 49ers. I think Buffalo's on their way to try to top that one. Houston, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland, three AFC Central teams are all winning, and Green Bay. I wonder how Mike Ditka feels right now. I don't know, but I wouldn't want to be the one to ask him. First and ten, Megan on the pitch. And gets a good gain up to the 40-yard line. A pickup of seven yards. Tackle is made by Booty and then Hopkins. The offensive line for the for the Giants just going after the front of this defensive line for the Eagles. Watch Elliott and Roberts just getting the push. You know, you get the body on the body. And the blue bodies push the white bodies backwards. It's going to be like this for a long time unless these Eagles can get underneath these big guys like Jumbo Elliott. Both giant lines are having a terrific first half. And Megan has scored two touchdowns, and he's a big part of it. Second down, second down and three from the 40-yard line. Rolling out is Hostetler. He was going for McCaffrey, who has yet to catch a pass today, but Eric Allen was step for step, and now we have Hostetler shaken up. Remember the ribs. Hostetler was one play away from a good shot to seeing a Kent Graham in there, but he's up and he says he's all right. There is Graham. No, no, Rookie from Ohio State. Let's see what happened to Hostetler. Have you ever had sore ribs? You can't breathe right without it hurting, much less somebody boloing you in the ribs right where you're injured with a helmet. Ouch. That was Mike Golick that got the shot in. Six for 15 for 112 yards and the TD pass to Megan. Hostetler faces a third and three at the 40. Out of the shotgun and here's the blitz and the pass is intercepted by Seth Joyner. Megan trying to chase him. But Joyner is going to win the wrist race, and the Eagles get an interception touchdown. 43-yard return, and it all started with a Wes Hopkins safety blitz. So Billy hangs in there with the defense. And you're right, Dick. What set that up is the blitz coming right up the gut. Hostetler has to move, has to throw out of position across his body and can't make the rest of that throw. But you know what impresses me? Look at Joyner go. That's Maggot chasing him. And Maggot can't catch him. In fact, Joyner pulls away. Well, Ruzik's added a little mystery to the extra point. We'll see how he does here. Last extra point was blocked. And this one is good. So the Eagles come back thanks to their defense with 9.35 remaining in the half, trailing by seven. Seth Joyner with the interception for a touchdown had the knee brace off. He's had injured knees and the brace on since the fifth game of the year, but they're working on Dave Meggett, who couldn't catch Joyner's race for this touchdown. We're rubbing that heat lotion right there on the back of the leg. That's in that hamstring area. And that's the only reason I could think of is maybe the muscle pull that Meggett couldn't run down a linebacker. Because nobody tries to cover him with a linebacker, why couldn't he catch him? So Meggett has been replaced by Callaway, so it's Joey Smith and Chris Callaway back deep for the Giants. Roger Ruzek kicking off. And Joey Smith from the six-yard line. Doesn't get much. And the Eagles with a good defensive play by Ephesians Bartley, just put on the team this year when Hager went on injured reserve. Well, we talked about the havoc that, that Hopkins blitz caused. Now watch Hostetler trying to throw across his body. That is a tough, tough throw, especially when a guy's being covered that closely. Now watch Megan. Does he, does he come up? Does he quit? Just didn't seem to have that last gear trying to chase Joyner and keep an eye on that. Megan's had a big impact on this game so far. If he's out, that affects this Giants offense. 
Giants have a first and ten at the 18-yard line. And is out of bounds at the 20-yard line, a gain of two yards. Booty was defending on the play. Well, lost in all this, remember, Jeff Hostetler took that shot, a play or two before that interception. Those ribs are hurting, and Ray Hanley's got to be worried at this point about the way Bud Carson and this defense are attacking Jeff Hostetler and trying to get him out of this game. And the Eagles mentioned that, not to hurt a player, but the idea is if you can get the starting quarterback out cleanly, why not? Well, you saw it on NFL Today. I mean, Terry Bradshaw was talking about all the quarterbacks that haven't finished games they've started and all the different starters we've seen this year. Second down and eight, the Giants on their 20. Nine minutes to go in the first half. And the pass is caught. Stephen Baker with the reception, and Booty was right there. By the way, that interception and score by Seth Joyner was his first NFL touchdown. All pro linebacker. Now, this is a situation in a down and distance that is custom made if you throw the ball, throwing it to your tight ends. And we haven't seen giant tight ends too involved since that great win they had against the Redskins. And in talking to the Philadelphia Eagles, they're almost to the point where they're not even worried about covering the giant tight ends. They're worried about the backs, they're worried about the receivers, but they're ignoring, I think, Cross. Cross is spread to the left, as you see, is a slot receiver on third down and three. And... There was no question that the Eagles were looking to pressure and blitz. Joyner was looking to blitz. And let's see if Philadelphia jumped off sides. Illegal procedure prior to the snap on Drawn the off. Illegal snap by Barlow. Five yard penalty. Still third down. Illegal snap. That's a nice way to say a quiver. He just sort of quivered with the ball a little bit. And, you know, Bart tried to, try to get himself one or was a little confused on the snap and the ball moved. He saw Simmons and Joyner right in front of him, ready to charge. You know, 1987, when I was still with San Francisco, we were supposed to play the Eagles, but that strike year, one game got canceled. Guess which game got canceled, and I didn't get to play Reg against Reggie White in this defense. I was just, I was sick about that. And you've regretted it ever since. <laughs> Third down and eight from the 20. Four wide receivers for the Giants. And a delayed blitz, and Hostetler's pass. Incomplete Callaway was defended by Allen, but the officials could rule that the pass was not catchable, so there was no flag on the play if there were. Well, they were showing Jeff Hostetler a big look of a blitz and a nice job up front by Oates and the entire line of keeping most of the pressure off until Simmons kind of dragged him down late there, but that was a case where Allen was between Callaway and the ball, and Callaway cannot go through Allen as Allen can't go through Callaway, so that was not a penalty. Sean Landetta will kick from inside his 10. There's by Sikahema. Sikahema on his 40-yard line. He's already had one terrific return, and he nearly gets this to midfield. Taking him at a 40-yard kicky who made the tackle. Well, the Eagles will have good field position following that nine-yard return by Sickenham. That was almost a huge play. Watch the wall that's formed out here inside the numbers. Watch the wall Sickenham had set up. This might have been six points if he goes all the way outside. Watch this. Nothing but Eagles outside. Does he go outside? No, but he had six points if he goes out there because he only had Landetta to beat. First and ten for the Eagles on their 48-yard line, trailing by a touchdown. And Randall Cunningham looking to throw his deck back at the 40-yard line. So the Giants with Corey Miller picking up their third quarterback sack of the game, a loss of seven. You know, they talk about Corey Miller being the run guy and and Canavis McGee being the pass guy and getting these confusing people going to replace to replace uh, Lawrence Taylor. But on that play, it was just pure pressure from the outside that Randall Cunningham had to step up into Corey Miller. 57 coming from the right here. Gets right by Heller, throws him down, and comes underneath as Cunningham tries to step up. 
So it's second and 17 back on the Eagles 41. And the 